Printable Science presents a 3D printed mini hacksaw handle. If you've got the cash, then go right ahead and buy a jigsaw or rotazip or dremel or whatever tickles your electrical fancy. But if you're on a budget, you'll appreciate this mini hacksaw handle. This uses about 75 cents worth of filament, so that's pretty good. Of course, you'll have to buy a blade and they go for about three bucks, but compared to a store-bought mini hacksaw, and blade that goes for around $10, you're still going to be about more than $6 ahead. Plus, as with other small uh, hand tools, I have about a hundred of these suckers lost around the house and shop that I can never find. So now I can just print one off and uh, have it uh, ready to go without flushing a lot of cash. This is an easy build, and like most printable science projects, it only requires a 90 cubic millimeter build volume. It has only three pieces. A handle, a blade support beam, and a locking bolt to hold the blade in place. If you have a small printer, you may have to print the parts individually and rotate the handle and beam so they fit corner to corner on your bed. Now the primary limitation of the mini hacksaw is the depth of the cut. It's limited to about an inch or 25 millimeters in a standard offering. But if you've really got to cut something thicker, then maybe you better save up your nickels for something that plugs into the wall because you'll be sawing for hours. If you're one of our Patreon supporters, check our Patreon page for blade support beams with a, depth, uh, with a deeper depth of cut, but you will need to have a printer that can print pieces longer than 90 millimeters. So on the one hand, while your depth of cut may be limited, you can pick up blades for cutting a variety of materials from wood to metal. And as a general rule of thumb, Thicker materials require the least number of teeth, while thinner materials need more. If you're cutting pipe, the thickness you want to consider is the width of the pipe wall, not the diameter of the pipe. Now, even though the blades are interchangeable, the cost of this handle is so cheap, you should consider printing one off for each blade you use. We printed the handle, support beam, and bolt in PLA for a 0.4 millimeter nozzle diameter, two perimeters, three top and bottom layers, and a Z or Z level of 0.2 millimeters. For strength, you'll need to print the bolt at around 80% infill, but the handle and beam should be fine at 20%. The bolt's optional too. The handle is tapped with a standard one quarter inch thread, so you can use a standard readily available bolt from the hardware store if you prefer. If you're a Patreon supporter and want to keep the metal bolt but keep this thing aesthetically consistent, check out our Patreon page for how to download a cap that you can glue onto a standard bolt. Once you've printed off the parts, assembly is quite a simple matter, but you'll want to test fit your pieces first. You want to make sure that a hacksaw blade can slip in and through the handle, and then after you've dropped the beam into the handle, you want to try sliding the blade into the full assembly. And if you can't get that to work, and it's because the beam isn't sitting low enough in the dock out, you should file off a bit of the edge until you can pass a blade through the handle when the beam is inserted. While it's not essential, you may want to glue the blade support beam into the handle. We use epoxy for a strong joint, and if you haven't done so already, you may want to check out our video on creating your own epoxy workstation that you'll find useful for this and other gluing tasks. You'll find a link to that video up there, somewhere. Once you're comfortable with the fit, remove the blade and disassemble the handle. Then you'll want to mix up a little epoxy and apply it keeping clear of the knockout in the beam. The best strategy is to apply glue to the sides and bottom of the beam only. That will reduce the chance of you blocking the blade channel with glue. Insert the beam in the handle and once again, Slide in a blade and adjust the seating of the beam, ensuring that the blade slides into the handle assemble easily. We'll set that aside to give the epoxy time to set and return to complete the final assembly. Now that the epoxy is set, all we need to do is set the blade to the position we like and then screw in the bolt to hold it in place. You don't need to torque the bolt very much. The teeth in the blade have a natural tendency to dig into the plastic of the handle so just a little tension is required to hold the blade in place. So there you have it. Our mini hacksaw is ready for use. In a previous video, we talked about the use of PVC pipe in printable science projects. The link to that video is up there. So let's give our mini hacksaw a try on a, on a piece of PVC pipe. Ooh. 
voila, a 3D printed mini hacksaw handle and um, uh, a small piece of PVC. We hope our mini hacksaw handle is of use to you and that you find it useful for your cutting needs. Thanks for watching and won't you help us by becoming an important part of the Printable Science family and making this channel more valuable and successful. You can help us out by taking the time to watch this video in its entirety and other Printable Science videos as well, perhaps while your 3D printer is printing off this project. You can leave comments and questions below, please do. That will help us to continue to create useful videos and 3D STL files that are printer ready and help you to maximize the power and utility of your 3D printer. Your feedback is very important. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you've just a moment, won't you show your support by clicking the subscribe button below. If you want to make sure you don't miss our upcoming videos on 3D printing, you'll want to click on the notify bell as well. And please consider supporting Printable Science on Patreon using the link supplied below. Being a Patreon supporter provides you with lots of extras and additional information as well as going a long way to defray the cost of making these files and videos. Down below, you'll also find a link where you can download a copy of the STL files from Thingiverse so that you can print your own mini hacksaw handle. As always, you can download a copy of the STL files for this and other projects directly from our website. The latest files and a discussion board on the mini hacksaw handle are available at the printablescience.com website where all the signs that fits, we print.